Hi folks, Human Performance Outliers Podcast conducts long-form interviews with hosts Dr. Sean Baker and Zach Bitter. These interviews often dive into a wide range of topics, so we are happy to present some mini clips. These clips will be specific questions asked to our guests that stand alone. Enjoy this clip. Hey Andrew, uh, just quick answer. Um, you, you were diagnosed how long ago? So it was six and a half years ago now. Okay. And like um, I said, beginning the median survival is about two to three for, for adults and, and younger adults may do a little better than older adults as, as we would expect. So, but you're yeah, certainly and, defying the odds at this point. I think well, most people can see that. Also, also the area of my, the area where I had significant brain damage from the hemorrhage and the subsequent surgery, um, has been healing over time, which I was told would be impossible. So that's also another interesting thing. And my symptoms just have gotten better and better over time. But I did notice that if I slip out of my therapeutic zone of blood glucose and blood ketones, I immediately have um, quite serious seizure activity point where it can progress to being uh very serious <laughs> um, because i'm on no medication it's uh i'm constantly managing that but if 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 my blood ketones and blood glucose maintain in the therapeutic range i feel fantastic and i have no symptoms at all so <laughs> that's an interesting that was an interesting finding for me what um I would assume you still have an oncologist that maybe participates in your care. And, and if so, what is, what is his thought at this point about uh, ketogenic diets and, and what things are going on? Is he, is he, do you have a new one than the original one or where are you at with that person? Yeah. So I see Mr. Kevin O'Neill. He's a neuro, he's a um, neurosurgeon as well as an oncologist. That's why he's a mister. So funny how you work so hard to be a doctor and then you study more and you, <laughs> you you learn more and you become a mister again. I've always found that amusing. But he is uh, very supportive of the ketogenic diet and he is uh, heavily involved with the charity Brain Tumor Research to bring more awareness of these metabolic therapies. And he's involved with the uh, clinical trials that will be... Uh, coming soon hopefully it's been in the pipeline for a few years and i've been consulted on how best to do that but i think i think we've come out come up with um a good efficacious way of doing that whereby patients are actually monitoring their blood glucose and blood ketones and eating the right foods and um having the right lifestyle because that's a huge thing as well um and I'm, I'm at the, um, I help a lot of patients at Charing Cross Hospital to, um, to adhere to these diets and to have social support with it because a lot of people just don't know how to do it properly. Along those lines, Andrew, one thing I always find really interesting about like the ketogenic diet or the carnivore diet or any diet that is considered by society is to be restrictive is this uh, message of like, oh, people can't adhere to it, or it's too difficult to adhere to. And I always find that really fascinating because my first thought is like, well, that probably depends on your circumstance. It's like if you're relatively able-bodied or you maybe have some low-level discomforts and things like that, yeah, it can be very easy to kind of cheat on a quote-unquote restrictive diet. Like how has your perception either changed or your messaging to other folks changed about uh, something like that when, when for you, it's like pretty obvious when you drift out of your, your therapeutic ranges, you're going to see some, some pretty altering situations. Thanks for checking out this clip from our long form podcast. If you enjoyed these and would like to support the show, please head over to patreon.com forward slash HPO podcast or paypal.me forward slash HPO pod for non-reoccurring donations. Thank you for your support.